behind his goal goes Tulipoff, who feeds Hosmer, taken away. Stevenson, a defenseman in back of the goal, being chased by Tulipoff. He feeds it to Tunnell at the blue line, a slap shot blocked by Flath. The Mavericks get it back in another shot, and a score! Well, they fired one that deflected over to Courtney, and he had a cavernous net to fire at. He didn't miss this time as he has scored his 32nd goal of the season, four minutes, 59 seconds into the opening period. And Andrew Courtney, two goals away from tying a Mavericks team record for most goals in a season set last year by... By himself, Mr. Yes. Andrew Courtney. Tanel shot from the point initially was blocked down at the point, deflected towards the front of the net. Another shot was deflected by a switched off under player. It then fell to the stick of Sparks. He held on to it for just a... <laughs> Garrett Klotz and Tyson Gimlet. Gimlet, a couple of lefts and another left. Now he misses with one. Landing a few rights was at Garrett Klotz as they are going at it and going at it. Off comes the helmet of Garrett Klotz. Landing a soft right was Gimlet. Now he lands a harder right as around and around they go. Gimlet, another punch as Gimlet has him held off. Gimlet looking for the best opportunity to land one as he once, once again holds him at bay. They circle again, Gimlet holding him off a bit, looking for an opportunity to land another one, and he does. A right, now missing with a, a right was Klotz. They once more are in close quarters as they are near center ice, spinning. Missing is Gimlet, now connecting is Klotz, who jumps on the back of Gimlet as down they go. It looks like a rodeo going on now as Klotz just set on the back of Gimlet. I said it looked like a rodeo, like Gimlet's the horse and Klotz is the cowboy. So he sat on his back as he reached out and grabbed some of his, his equipment that had been lost during the brawl. I, I'm not even sure <laughs> if they, eat, I don't even think both of them had both feet on the ice before they started dropping gloves and sticks. Lights weren't gonna get in front of that one immediately out of the box. They dropped the gloves and went after it. Pretty good long brawl as well. And you mentioned there at the end, I think they were both pretty tired. And it just kind of happened where Giblet fell to the ice. He hands up as a drive goes wide. That one fired by newcomer Stork uh, Stoven as the Thunder score. Breakaway, Bernhardt released on the missed shot. It was shot by the Mavericks up high and wide, deflected off the net, or off the backboards rather. Down to the far side, Wichita picked it up. Excellent outlet pass to Bernhardt, who was in on net breakaway, and he rips it past Robinson. Had to avoid his own man, Courtney, as the two almost collided. Swooping in and claiming it, Kosherski, and he leads a three on two up the right side into the Maverick zone. Sets it up in a score. Odd man rushes early on, killing the Mavericks. Wichita works the Odd man rush the other way to perfection. Is able to find Twine. Second goal here in less than five minutes into the second period. Perfect pass. One timer to get it past the netminder Robinson. Take the lead for Wichita. 3.09 the time of this goal. Thunder also scored at 58 seconds. Obviously not the start that the Mavericks wanted. And they have Courier in many aspects. One, his face-off ability. So the Mavericks have three excellent face-off men in Courier, Brown, and Lindsey Sparks. Whistled around the wall in the Wichita zone. Now tapped in behind the net. Michael Trebish there takes a bump from Jared Brown. Set up for the shot and a score! Tyler Courier fired it off the pad of goaltender Rollheiser. He had just enough gas on that to get it off the pad and in. The Mavericks a power play goal and these teams are even at two each. Really good work by Jared Brown behind the net initially. He tied up the Thunder player. Carlson swooped in to pick up the loose puck. Courier went to the front of the net. Carlson to Courier. Courier the one-timer. Wichita is Danik Gauthier. Mavericks on their fourth power play. Owens slides it over on the far side to Vance, back to Owens. Cross ice, that was Carlson. 
Now it goes to Carlson. He scores! 14 seconds into the power play. Sebastian Janelle in the right wing corner put it right onto the tape of Ludwig Carlson, and he didn't miss. And the Mavericks lead 3-2. Perfect, perfect one-touch pass. Tunnell right to Carlson, five-hole. Beats the net minor, and the Missouri Mavericks take a one-goal lead here late in the second period. Sebastian Tunnell, wizard with the puck. Perfect tape-to-tape -tape pass, and Carlson twisted her insert five-hole. It's been real good in the second period. Mavericks win the faceoff as he is going with six skaters and no net minder. The Mavericks poke over the line and Lindsey Sparks fires and scores! An empty netter for Lindsey Sparks. That's the icing on the cake and the cake tastes delicious. The Mavericks up 4 2. Less early backfired as Missouri won the faceoff. They had a play set up and designed off the faceoff win to swing the puck around behind their own goal. I think, wow, oh, the Tunnell skated over to the far side, got to the puck and just kind of shoveled it forward across the blue line. And the Mavericks send it to center ice. Doing so was Courtney. 103 to go in the third, the Mavericks up four to two. Long pass for Andrew Courtney. Courtney sets it up and a score! Lindsay Sparks, a one-timer from Courtney. That's even difficult for a goaltender to st stop. What a perfect one-timer, now 5-2 Maverick. No, you certainly would have been probably a pretty good looking opportunity, maybe a goal, as you mentioned, even with her in there. But in this case, it was simply Sparks going right to the net. Courtney chased the puck down in the corner, put it on his stick, Sparks to the back of the net. Uh, pulls the goaltender, then quickly two shots into the empty net. Centering feed, no one able to get the shot away for Wichita's Rollheiser remaining on, and the game comes to an end, and the Missouri Mavericks win against the Wichita Thunder by the score of 5-2. to two. Good work by Missouri tonight. They've really showed the heart and the grit that these players in this team has.